Thank you. Um, nobody's nervous. Um, okay, so this one's called Belly. This um, I've written this. I, I wrote this recently when I was in Lebanon, also the Lebanon experience. And it starts with a quote from one of the poems by Sharon Olds, who's one of my favorite poets. She says, <clears throat> I come from a long line of women who put themselves first. <clears throat> I come from a long line of women who put themselves last, somewhere between a man's first meal and the precise folding of a clean shirt. I never understood their need to tell me Dafani or Nishani to remind me of the size of my body since the last time they saw me. How they always feel they can ask me if I want children and when I say no because I stopped saying not yet a long time ago, they turn inward to find their pockets of pity for moments exactly like these. A woman I went to school with when I was a kid actually tilted her head when she said that she's really sorry that I don't have kids. She says, I'm really sorry, Riwa, and we were both standing in the plant section of Ikea somewhere in the middle of a mall in the middle of Dubai where everything dries and nothing grows and maybe in her mind that's what my body was made of. My gynecologist once told me, only selfish women choose not to have children. And I wonder if she knew that it took me a while to understand that all she was trying to do was run her business. The most sacred woman we are taught is the ultimate virgin, the mother of God who never had sex but somehow managed the birth. While growing up, I was urged to wear skirts, to keep my knees together, to wear my hair long, the same color, to eat less and less often, to check in with my brother each time I went out. I come from a long line of women who kept their mouths shut, who made sure they stayed smaller than the shadows of all their other halves. Perhaps, with enough evolution, our bodies will only be uterus and breast. What use? Do we have of arms and legs? What use do we have of tongues? Thank you. Wow.